Thanks for tuning in for in this episode of how Amtrak puts records management in the cloud. Hi, I'm Laura Beth Ezel for HXGN TV, and joining me today is Ann Pressman from Amtrak Police. She's here to explain to us how Amtrak Police was able to move their records management to the cloud. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. First, just tell us a little bit about Amtrak Police. The Amtrak Police Department is an agency of about 500 police officers across 46 states. Um, it is also a police department within a private industry. So the Amtrak company has 20,000 employees and it's, it's a private industry. Okay. So, so what are some challenges that your agency faces when it comes to viewing, analyzing, and sharing data, especially when you're talking about going across 46 states? Right. We go across 46 states and we're not a federal agency, so we need to use local offenses. So we have over 100,000 offense codes within our system. Wow. Um, that is a lot in a records yeah. management system. Yeah. Um, we also are not NIBRS reporting, even okay. though we're um, a, a police agency, we do not have to follow the federal guidelines. So we don't always have the exact NIBRS compliance that you would see in most agencies. Okay, interesting. So what was the process behind Amtrak's decision to move their records management system to a cloud-based system? We had multiple different levels in the process. One of them was financial. We did a financial review between the server client system mm -hmm. and the web-based system, and the web-based system seemed to be a better fit for us. We also looked at scalability. Okay. Um, we looked at the security of it. Will the cloud be as secure as a client-server system? Um, will, it be, um, will it meet the needs of CGIS and meet the needs of the police department? Um, and then we engaged Hexagon and made sure that it would be a fit with their system if we moved in this into the cloud, and it all just seemed to work out. Okay, so what were some goals for Amtrak in, in moving to this new type of records management system? We wanted the system to have a better performance than what we were already seeing, and we wanted this to be scalable um, mm -hmm. within our own network. And we wanted this to be compliant with where Amtrak was going as a business, not just the police department. Okay. And that met all of those goals. Great, great. So how do you go about choosing the right records management system and cloud platform for your agency? So the cloud platform was an easy one. Amtrak okay. already had a relationship with AWS, um, and that partnership had been built a few years prior. So we continued that partnership with AWS. As far as the RMS system, we wrote an extensive um, RFP, mm -hmm. um, went through the entire process of the vetting of that and through procurement, and Hexagon ended up being the best fit for our agency. So how are these technologies changing the way that Amtrak Police you know, operates now? It has removed many of our barriers. Um, one of the barriers was the client server system and having to go through a VPN to do that because we're okay. across 46 states, it, right. it could become a complication. Um, it also gave us the ability to have a platform, be, be platform agnostic. So okay. our officers who are on tablets or on iPads are now able to get into the system they weren't able to before. Okay, especially when you're not all together, like you said. Not the, only the not all together, yeah. but sometimes they're on a train. Right. So it's really nice, or out at a scene with a canine dog, so it was really nice to be able to pull out your iPad and to start your records and start your investigation and not have to worry about waiting till you we're back home and on an actual PC. Okay, all right. Any other examples that you want to share with us before we move on? Um, no, that's it's okay. really just the ability to have the iPad and to have the, the tablets out in the field. And information in front so of you it anytime. It made a really big difference for us. Anywhere. Okay. So what advice can you give, because you've obviously gone through this process, like you talked about, you know, you set out goals, you went to the RFP, you know, finding the right system and, and going through that. So what advice can you give other agencies out there who are considering, you know, moving to a, a cloud-based records management system? The first thing would be don't be afraid. Um, it, it seems like it's a huge jump from the server-client relationship to the cloud, mm -hmm. but just not to be afraid of it. And then to understand the relationship um, for the data ownership. You want to make sure that you own the data. If you decide to leave the contract with the cloud-based company you're with, that the data goes with you, the data is yours. Mm -hmm. And then also to understand the security of it. Um, we made sure that all of our data stayed within the United States. It never leaves the United States. So you just want to make sure you dot all your I's, cross up your T's when it comes to that. Okay, 
Well, we really appreciate your time and sharing your expertise and going through this uh, process. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. For more on this topic, you can go to www.hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. And to watch additional episodes and to learn more, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thanks for tuning in.